but since there's no one else, this is my vlog. It's nice to meet you, and I'm going to be doing you something a little different, let's say that. Normally I don't talk about things that, unless it's about on a game when I'm playing it, but this time I want to talk about something, and it's not like a vlog or anything, it's just me talking and ranting about something, maybe ramble a little on. And I want to talk about fandom, so groups of people that enjoy a specific thing, so it's kind of like a cult following. Um, so there's various different fandoms, there's My Little Pony, um, Homestuck, Italia, different animes, for example, webcomics, YouTubers, and there are some negatives and positives to these fandoms. As positive, some of the people in these fandoms are very, very creative. Um, I'm not a big My Little Pony fan. <laughs> I never watch it, but there is some really. Um, some of my friends are, and they are. There's some that have really good music producers in this fandom, and I know I don't really like it as much as another person that really likes it but some of these music productions that people have made in this fandom are amazing I mean it's just something it's there's this I forgot what his name was but there was this musician that I was linked to and his music was reasonably good and he was a bronix and that's nothing wrong with that that's kind of awesome and and um, there are also there's the obviously I can't talk as much about the Brony fandom because I don't like it as much. Obviously it's a widespread thing and I don't fault you for it. You if you like it, you like it, of course. It's absolutely fine. But there's a little problem. Um these bronies as they call themselves get quite a lot of hate for what they are. Why can't we just leave them alone for what they are? If they like My Little Pony, they like My Little Pony, for goodness sake. It's nothing wrong with that. It's like when you... I'm a bit of a... I used to be quite a bit of a Pokemon fan when I was younger. And with me and Lee, I still play quite a few Pokemon games. And... It's more a child game, but it's, and My Little Pony was more for younger audiences. But, so I'm an ad, um, I'm a, I'm a reasonably older age, and I still like Pokemon. It's more the nostalgia feel for me because it's one of those type of games that I used to play when I was younger. But still, it was made for younger audiences compared to old audiences oh yeah no that's true even though it's been progressing throughout the years and still what people in my uni still play it which is awesome um there's also but yeah so fandoms aren't bad for what they are because they get to you to it also gives discussions on that, and you can talk about, you can find more people that are interested in your things. Um, I am a Hitalian, which is a person that loves, likes Hitalia. If you don't know what Hitalia is, it's an anime which personifies countries, and it's kind of like really silly. That's good. There is some quite dark stories in it but it kind of puts me in a cheery tone in a way it's hard to explain um it's better to watch it um and sometimes when i'm looking on a social media site for example i see some pictures of two of my favorite um fandoms hetali and homestar merging together which is good because if you, they can stay together, the two fans of each other will be happy. 
Now, obviously, there are some people that would like Atari and hate Homestuck and vice versa. So that's absolutely fine too. And I have a friend that doesn't get where the Homestuck and Hitalia merging together fit. It doesn't make that much sense to him. But, again, that's absolutely fine. And... If you don't know what Homestuck is, by the way, it's a webcomic on the internet that's been going on by a few, quite a while actually. Um, and it's a very, very popular book on the internet. It's had various gifts I've made, the animation of those, um, there's been remixes of their music, which is really good. Um, and cos there's even cosplayers of the characters, which for a webcomic, which is really good for what it is. Now, the problem is with these fandoms is that the arguments are similar to console wars and gaming wars. There's fandoms of games as well and consoles, but that's easy enough to say. Um, and console wars had had some bad heated discussions, let's say that, and it can get very, very aggressive over the internet if you talk about it, and if you say, like, I like Xbox, for example, or I like PC, um, PC some people will disagree with you, some will be some will be nice, some will not be, uh, that's for sure. And you just have to put the one up, up with the ones that are not, because that's the life, to be honest. Um, but I have to say that fandoms are a good thing for people to meet up and all that, but they shouldn't go too far. They they shouldn't care who likes another fandom. They shouldn't care if a person doesn't like this person or this fandom or this whatever console or game or whatever. And a more prominent place where this happens is YouTube. And as being part of the YouTube community, it's been going around in my mind for a while and I've been thinking, well, I respect everyone's opinion on this guy, but it's serious. Some of them can get really aggressive. There's definitely some fans of specific YouTubers that can get really aggressive on the internet, especially in the comment section. Um, if you say you hate this person, they'll come and attack you. Well, not exactly attack you, but they'll comment on your video saying, Oh, why did you do this? Oh, why did you do that? Why did you hate this guy? So great, and stuff like that. And I respect their opinions and all that, but seriously, why would you attack someone because he... hates this person, you should just agree with, you should, well not agree, that was the wrong word, I shouldn't have said agree, um, you should accept that this guy has an opinion on the internet, and if he has reasons behind it, and is not a person that wants to be hugely aggressive, like saying explicitives and general jazz like that, um, but you can moan at him if you want, but if he has reasonable opinions on saying so, if he makes a video about a person, YouTube and that, you shouldn't hate on him because he has an opinion. I have some ranter friends on the internet, and I don't want to say who, but they've got a lot of hate because of they hate, um, they talk about a specific person in a negative fashion. 
and it just looks right. It's unfair on the person, as he has a bit, as everyone on the YouTube has an opinion as well. And I'm not saying that. Obviously, there can be people that are civilized and can discuss this and very nice, but there's people that just shout explicitives at you because you don't like this person and you think, or oh, you like this fandom, or you don't like this, and everything else like that. It's just unfair on the people that really like this fandom, or have this opinion, or don't have that opinion of you. I know, I know people on the internet can be a bit silly. I've been a bit silly at times and got a bit iffy. Not horribly bad, but um, it's been, it's not like I've been swearing on that, but I have got into an argument with someone on the internet, on the comments and that. And it's got a bit off. It's gone a bit iffy when I um, commented to them. But that's just life on that comment. And it was it was sorted out in the end. So that was absolutely fun. We ended the discussion and everything, and we just went on our way. So what I'm actually saying is that people like should like what they like and shouldn't be hated what they like. I mean, there's people have the opinions, they can post their, their ranters on YouTube, and they can post their weird whatever, and rant videos on whatever person they like. If they don't like this person, fine. Don't go on just to hate them because they don't like this person. I know it may be hard to accept that this person hates this person, but that's life. People will disagree on different things, I mean, and even Parliament does it, for goodness sake. <laughs> There's loads of things in Parliament that um, they disagree on, which so kind of like you and um, the internet is kind of like parliament everyone has their different opinion they all disagree and agree it's just that there isn't anything to vote on practically and now i have to say that please stop hating on these people that have an opinion or like this type of thing and i probably repeated this over again but Please stop hating on people that have opinions on specific things. It's unfair if, like, a homeless duckian goes to Hetalian and just mocks them for what they do. Now, I'm not saying they do it. I'm not saying they would or not. But it's just not right. If if a fandom comes together and they can merge and meld together and work together in a way, it's awesome because it makes the community bigger, it'll make one fan and both fandoms bigger because you get the two different levels. Um, so the, um, for example, the Homestuckians and the Hitalians. So the Homestuckians will go to Hitalia and the Hitalians will go to Homestuck. And same with YouTube. If you the opinion, if people like and um, collaborate, you shouldn't hate on the person because they do this. Most of the YouTube community is rather close, for example. And um, there's Markiplier and Yummy Mash, for example, which are quite close, but they get in trouble. And they get comments saying, oh, you copied Yami Mash, or you copied the last time, even though they're good friends. And that's just weird. The same with Edge and CPK and Yami Mash and that. They get in trouble for that. And 
they're actually rather well, close. They've done live streams, they've done videos, I think, together. I'm not exactly sure, don't keep my word on that. <laughs> and. <coughs> Sorry. And I think we should try and learn that people, one, have an opinion, two, it's YouTube, so people can do what they want on YouTube, so ranting if they want, or they can play a game that someone else has played. Not like, not like they're copying, it's kind of like, even some of the people, um, the, some YouTubers say that they actually stole it from other YouTubers, as a joke, even though they're as a close. Um, and some commenters actually might take it sarcastically and that, I get that. Not like one of those things that people don't take it sarcastically and they joke about it and Oh my goodness, you stole from this guy and this guy. There's some people that do that and sarcastically and they it's rather funny. I mean, if someone said that and I had a friend YouTuber that was bigger than me and I saw a game and I played his game and the game that he was playing, I wouldn't mind those comments because I'd find them a bit funny. <laughs> it's, um, it's like, it's just one of those weird things, but it's hard to explain. Um, anyway, three, I think people that have different fandoms and that and different favourite consoles, different favourite games, and all that general jazz. And um, is that why don't you just state your opinion in an orderly manner? If you have a discussion, just have a discussion on the specific consoles and games you like. Obviously, some of them, it, it may be hard for some people, but no offence to them, but it's true. Um, but it's one of those things that if we can find that small niche where we have a part where two things can mix together, in a way, that it would be actually rather good. I mean, imagine if Call of Duty merged with the Halo community. Now, it may not be a good match in heaven, I'm not saying it will be, but if those two merged together and they um, got along like Italian Homestuck have been doing, every now and again, it's, it'd be good because they get more fans, They get, um, both sides get more fans, same with consoles. One day, Sony, Nintendo and um, Microsoft will get together, hopefully, <laughs> uh, and make one massive console that will just join together. I know they're all big businesses and probably won't, but, um, but if they did, it'd just bring everyone close together, because it would have all the positives all together of each console. I mean, you won't have the console exclusives, which will cause some problems for fans and that, which admittingly can sometimes peeve me. <laughs> um, especially with some handheld consoles, but that's the fun that I've had. <laughs> and I think I've been rambling on for a bit too much now about people trying to get together. I know, I know um, I'll probably get some hate for saying specific things, and that's fine. I don't mind if people know me for that. Um, and if you want to discuss this, it's fine as well, because I would be happy to talk, um, talk to you on the comment box or whatever. And I think I'll end the video here. If you like this video, this small rant ramble of me just spurting random things that came into my head about. Yeah. <laughs> if you like this, if you like, favourite, subscribe, join the rebellion today. And 
I may be doing more of this, these rants, I may not be, I don't know, varied from time to time. But if I do do a rant, I'll be wearing these things, because they look cool. And, and, I will see you in the next video. Bye.